I know a lot of people have been tagging me in the Fit Family group and they're asking their questions. So, so just, just to recap, because I just hit record right now, um, I talked about the cheat meal. There's only one cheat meal this week. We did that on purpose because we wanted you to kind of like ease your way into it. But now we're into the second week. You should be going pretty strong with it. You're allowed one combat bar a day to help, you know, to overcome that need for, um, for something sweet. You're also, uh, what was the other thing? Oh yeah, we're also going into isolates this week, meaning that on one day you might do full legs, on the next day you might do full chest. Uh, tuxedo, we're gonna do the exact same. So Dave, when you're writing your program, tomorrow, have fun, make that leg day, buddy. And then uh, Tuesday would be like, kind of like a chest and bicep kind of workout. Uh, we'll go ahead and write that. We could talk more about that, Dave. I'm gonna actually put, I'm you here, just to make sure you got that. Davey. I got you. Okay. So now you get to have some fun with ISOs, baby. It's going to be pretty fun. <laughs> I, I'm expecting a step up in leg extension or what is it? Hip, hip abduction. I can't remember. <laughs> I think some, some of both sound good. Okay. Brother. <laughs> Okay, so now let's get on to the, uh, oh yeah, so the turkey burgers. So yeah, like I guess in the ingredients and the instructions list was, uh, there was a little bit of a mix up there. We apologize for that. Um, the one thing I'm going to tell you is that just like follow whatever one you want. I mean, when it comes to seasoning, it's not like it's, it's, not like it's sugar where there's any calories. Generally, seasoning seasoning do not contain any calories so you can you, know, you can feel free to tweak these with any type of seasoning that you want now here's my one recommendation to you anytime you can put cayenne pepper into your meals boom primo they put cayenne pepper in a lot of these these fat burners because cayenne pepper is a, a metabolism raiser right so it, it'll actually help you to burn calories while you're while you're eating food so go ahead and sprinkle cayenne pepper in there just be careful with what you do because of the fact that if you put too much cayenne, it's going to be way too spicy and you're not going to like it. Another pro tip, actually, first thing in the morning, if you want to do a mild cleanse, I would say you only want to do this three times a week. You could do warm water. You do a sprinkle, like literally a dash of cayenne pepper and lemon, right? You can either do real lemons, which are, I find a little bit better than the lemon juice, but either way do that. It's highly alkaline. It's got the, uh, the metabolism raising in the cayenne pepper and warm water. Your body digests it a lot faster. Just do a sprinkle of cayenne pepper. All right. And the third. So I want to commend everybody and, and congratulate everybody that made their posts in the group with their skinny jean challenge. That's amazing. Um, I know it takes a lot of courage to be able to post a picture like that. But honestly, you, now that you've done it, Everybody that's done it, they feel relief, right? It's kind of like getting that monkey off your back. Today, I read one about a girl that threw away all her old clothes because they didn't fit anymore. And that's the opposite of what we want to do. We want you to get rid of all your old fat clothes, right? We should never be going up in sizes. We want to be going down in sizes. You should either be staying the same at a nice, slim, comfortable weight and, and waist size, size that you enjoy versus having to go out and buy new pants. It costs more money to do that. So why not now in this six week, invest in yourself, invest in your supplements, invest in your meal planning, invest your time in making your workouts at least, I would say five days a week, just start making this part of your routine. Just like these, this healthy eating, you'll see that, you know, a lot of the meals, they repeat each other, right? Because you don't need to get fancy with it. You literally just eat the same thing for three days. This way you need to prep meal prep once. That would be tonight. So everybody should be meal prepping today. I know we're all done. And then, you know, you do the same thing on Wednesday to set yourself up right till Saturday. And then Sunday is kind of like that, that flip day where you get the cheat. So that's what we want to do is we want to start establishing routines. Now we're going to make the draw tomorrow for the uh, winner. And you also get points for that. And we're also going to be tracking your pant size. So if you didn't get those posts in and you didn't tell us, you didn't make your picture, you didn't tell us what your current pant size are, and you didn't tell us um what your goal is and which location you're at well you're now you're just kind of like leaving money on there right so it's not too late to get that post and it's also still not too late for you to start collecting points now this week's challenge is going to be a goal setting challenge right new year's comes around and i know the beginning of the new year's is always hectic like i literally just sat down and, and wrote out one of my major goals that i write out every single year 
And um, for you guys, right now is the time. Now that you're back on track, now that your, your schedule is all set up, Christmas is done, parties are done, all of that. Now it's time to let us know what your goals are. So what I want to see is, a pit, is, is in the group, I want you to post what your goals are for this, for this, you know, for this year, mainly like, you know, that has to do with fitness. I want to know what your measurements are. So we went out and, and Jen went to 12 different, 12 different dollar stores to pick up all those tape measures. We picked up over 200 tape measures. And so we gave them all to you when you, when you did. And if you lost yours or you didn't get one, not a big deal, go to a dollar store and pick up a tape measurer. And then what we want to see is we want to see your measurements. So I'm going to stand up here. You go around the chest, right? So right underneath the armpit, you're going on the belly button. I like to go on the belly button. Oh, that's. And then you want to go just kind of like on your pat line. I like to go over the biggest part of my butt, the middle of your thigh, and the middle of your arm. That's, that one's for you, Davey. So you go over the middle of your arm, and everything is not flexed, okay? So make sure that you're not flexing. So po post your measurements because – Coming down the line, we're going to ask you for those again, okay? We really want to track everything. So we got your fitness testing. We got your gene size. We want to know your goals. And now we want to know your measurements. And now it's been said that your goal, and literally it says, I've read it multiple times in multiple books, 10,000 times more achievable when you actually announce them to the public. So by you posting them in this group, and as you've seen that this is a private group, this is a safe place. That's where you guys are going to post your goals. So make sure that you post your measurements, what your goal is, and what location you're at so that we can track it in one group, and you guys will get your five points for that. And this is something that we're going to come back to at the last week of the challenge. Does anybody have any questions right now? I'm going to pull you up here, Manette, because I know you always like to talk to me. Manette. Hi. How are you? I'm good. How are you? I'm good. How's your, how's your, this is your second week now? Yeah, it's my second week. Good. So, okay. So how are things going? Why don't you, uh, let's, let's spark a little conversation here. Uh, I don't know. I think they're going what's, well. What's your biggest battle? Have you meal prepped before? Yep. Meal oh. prep before. Okay, so you know every, every so, how that works. And uh, how about the workouts? Yeah. How are the workouts treating you? They're awesome. Yeah? Yeah, I'm really enjoying them. Have you, have you gotten on the scale at all since you started the six-week? No, I haven't checked my weight yet. Great. So I'm scared too. Yeah. <laughs> like the second, I think, in two weeks. I'm not sure. I have it all timed. We're going to let you guys know that you guys can go ahead and remeasure, right? We don't really want oh, okay. to do it right now. Like I said, if yeah. – if you were to jump on it right now, and especially if you weren't previously in a meal plan or you weren't currently working out, your body will actually retain water. I think one yeah. lady actually, or one girl posted that she's lost uh, five pounds already. And so that's good, but that's also bad because then that means that you had an extra five pounds to lose. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. your body yeah. If you're running around, your body doesn't want to carry around extra weight. And so the first thing it's going to do is get rid of whatever else, what it is that you need to lose immediately. Mm-hmm. Cool. Thank cool. you. All right. Thank you. Let's see. Stacy. Stacy, I got you on the mic. <laughs> Stacy. <Yeah. laughs> she has a party. All right. If anybody else has any questions, let me know. I'm on the line. You got your meal plan for this week. Everybody should be meal prepping tonight. You got your one cheat meal. You guys can up your dose of sub Q and both are, we're on isolation workouts. All right, I'm gonna wrap this up. Till next Sunday, I'll be in sunny Hawaii, Maui. So we will definitely make sure that we try and find a time that uh, coordinates. I know they're about six hour difference or something like that. So, but other than that, everybody happy meal prep. Have a great Sunday, and I'll see you soon.